Hey everybody, welcome back to The Garage. If this is your first time visiting my channel, please go ahead, click on subscribe, and also click on the bell to receive all the updates and activities on my channel. All right, so today, today we have a product review of the Limink Endoscope or Boroscope or an, a, Inspection Camera. It goes by a, a bunch of different names. Uh, full disclosure, uh, this company reached out to me and, and they supplied me this product in exchange for the review, but they are not paying me for this review. Um, if at the end of the video you like what you saw, click uh, check out the description. There will be a link in the uh, that will bring you out to the seller storefront where you can purchase it on your own. Okay, so what is a boroscope or an endoscope? Essentially, it's a tool that allows you to do inspections of tight spaces that you normally can't get into, such as plumbing, uh, sewer drains, um, water supply lines for irrigation or um, say if you have a pool or something like that, and then you want to you want to go into a line that you that you may suspect they have a leak, you can do an inspection using this device. Uh, for what I'm going to use it for, um, I'm actually going to use it in my garage to do inspections of engine parts. You know, going into spark plug holes, intake manifolds, and everything else, and get a uh, a better view of what we're looking at as far as doing diagnosing and troubleshooting, right? So some features of this device, it is waterproof and it is wireless. So what's nice about this is you can set it up and you can pair it with your iPhone or Android, Android tablet or a phone. And then you can uh, be away from the transmitter up to 30 feet and it will still transmit over wireless. It doesn't use Bluetooth, right? It does HD quality 1920 by 1080 and it is, it is supported through Apple and, and Android. And it also has the ability to record. All right, so with that being said, why don't we go ahead, bring this over to the bench, we'll review it, and we'll show you in action. All right, so here's the device. And again, this is a very handy tool. In the event that you're going to buy a sled or a quad or whatever, you can, you can use this thing. And within five minutes, know where you're standing as far as the engine, uh, as far as the top end. You know, you can look at the condition of the cylinders and the pistons and everything else and see how you're doing before you make any big commitments on it. So this device is very easy to use. Um, again, it works on wireless. Um, once you download the app from the App Store, um, and there will be a link in the description of this video uh, as far as what the name is, this is what you're going to be looking at. Um, and right now, it is transmitting. So as far as the control unit, it's again, it's very easy to use. There's an on-off button switch. Uh, there's a dial to change the intensity of the light. You can either have it on or off. And then there's three buttons on remote. There's a zoom in, zoom out, and then there's a button to take a picture. So in the event that you're doing your inspection and you want to take a picture of a certain point, you just hit the button. And I don't know if you heard that, but it'll take a picture and save it on your phone. And then there, lastly, there is a charging port on the control unit that will allow you to charge it up. And essentially that's it. So once you have it paired, you can just do whatever you want with this thing and go nuts. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the uh, the scope on this engine. We're gonna go in, in all the, uh, the cylinder holes using the, uh, the recording feature. All right, so what we're doing right now is we're going into the plug holes and we're looking at the, uh, the cylinder as you can see, the, the detail and the resolution on this is pretty good. It gives you a, a very good idea of what's going on. So now we're going into the other plug hole. And we're looking at the top of that piston. And what you're going to see is uh, you're, you would first think that there's a lot of stuff going on with the cylinder. But actually, the, the cylinders are in such good shape, you're actually looking at the reflection of the piston on the wall. So if you looked... Uh, that little arrow on the piston, you can see the actually being reflected on the cylinder wall. And we're going now into the last cylinder hole. We're looking at it. We can see all the transfer ports. And then again, we can see the reflection of the piston on the cylinder wall. So we know that's in good shape. So we're coming out and now we're going into the Y pipe. We're looking at the piston through the, uh, the exhaust port going to rotate the piston down and we can see on the side of the piston that it's just a little bit of staining no real scuffing and the same thing on the other piston 
So that looks pretty good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come in through the uh, exhaust port. Now we're looking at the top of the heads. And the heads are, are looking very good. No pitting at all. So now we're looking at another head. Just getting into the focus. Same thing. And what you're seeing on the, t on the head surface is actually just unburnt fuel. Now we're going into the last head. And the same thing. And just more unburnt fuel on that head. So, all in all, it looks pretty good. All right, so there you go. You saw this thing in action, and like I said, it's a very handy tool to have, and it's not that expensive to own uh, for yourself. Um, it can save you a lot of money in the event that you're doing a, uh, a purchase on a vehicle or whatever it may be, you can get a pretty good idea of where you stand before you make a purchase, and then you can use it for negotiation. Right. If there's any questions, comments, concerns, go ahead and leave them in the comments box. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great day. See ya.